Um, I hope you guys had a good good Thanksgiving um, I'm outside here and we are going to be talking about all the leaves I've had um, if you watched my last video that I was talking about all the boxes that I have you know that I have a bunch of leaves I've sort of mowed some of them into the grass and around here but I still have so much and I'm going to show you what I've been doing with them now for some reason, the whole of this year, I think from the end of last year to this year, I've sort of taken a more sort of natural approach to gardening and doing things. So um, I will show you what happens when you leave the leaves alone for one year, right? I love them in a in a bin. Now I've been getting these bins for free. Like there's something about Connecticut, people leave them up by the side of the road and I want them and I usually pick them up. There's no shame in my game, I don't mind. I just throw them in my car and I have good use for them. So I have some new bins that I picked up by the side of the road that I'm going to be using and storing all these leaves in. Um, I'm also gonna show you the big area where there's all these leaves that are right there. Um, I had to get a new uh, brush mower for that area because the lawn mower that I have wouldn't actually work but there's so so many benefits of just using leaves like a small use them to amend clay soil because the humus in them helps a lot they're very good in compost you know and I use them also okay to insulate the hydrangeas you you guys probably won't be able to I'll, I'll show you I have a ton of um I have a ton of uh, hydrangeas uh, that I actually always uh, use the leaf to sort of insulate the uh, roots because we have very crazy winters here. But yeah, let me go ahead, stop talking, and I'll show you all the leaves that I have right now. Okay, so these are the pile of leaves that I have. So I do them in sections, okay? It's a lot of leaves. I have one section here, and then I have, this is my blower. If you watch a video that I had last year, I had this blower. This blower is just so amazing. And then I have another pile here. I haven't even blown this side yet, right? But I'm telling you, the benefits of all these leaves are so amazing. Um, I can't even talk about it enough. So these are the bins I picked up from the side of the road. They all came with covers and are going to be put to really good use Okay, when it comes to the leaves, right? Because I'm very excited. This is what happens, right? I left the leaves in this one for one year and let nature do its thing but look at how amazing this looks very enriched so what I'm going to do is that when I use it to amend the soil I'm also going to be adding some wood chips to it and I just love love this sort of natural approach that I'm taking when it comes to um, when it comes to like the leaves and all that last year I didn't do that but I love 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 what's going on now Now with all the spirals that I have, um, after I remove all the leaves, I'm going to mulch the leaves or some, maybe take them in big huge clumps and I'm going to put them around here, okay, because it gets really cold and it sort of protects them and insulates them from the winter. Um, a lot of people, some people, a lot of people here use covers for their plants, I never do that. So right here also I have these evergreens and I'm going to also throw more of the leaves down here um, you know just to insulate them I really love the way they are um, you know so a lot of them uh, a lot of the leaves that are here I'm not gonna blow them I'm just gonna leave them be you know but they are amazing it, like the leaves act as an insulation to um, 
to the roots, right? And it protects them because the winters here can be very, very harsh. And I don't want to lose any of these. I love when you come in and you're able to see all these here. You know, I love, I love the look. I love it with this tall apple body that I have here, you know, which gives the driveway a very, very nice, nice look. So now along my entire white fence line, I have about 12 or 13 hydrangeas here. You can't see them now because they're a mess. I'm going to cut all of this back. And what I do is that I am going to use the leaves that I'm going to be blowing as some form of insulation also. Like I've been doing this for the last few years, okay? And they come back stronger because usually when the town plows, right, they often put the snow because the road is right here. They'll often pile the snow here and usually the snow is mixed with salt and everything. And it has been my worry, but so far, nothing they've all survived right they've all survived so yeah i've been using the leaves also like for like i said for insulation along all this fence over here and yeah this is the biggest section look at all these leaves and that's the rock over there and i have to tell you so what i've done is that i had to get a um my lawnmower for the front wouldn't work here because the leaves are very very deep okay so this is a brush mower that i bought and i this is the one i'm going to use in the new area it uses gas and i have to tell you it's a bit of a mess because i put when i put it together i left it outside and i think i forgot to put a tap on it and it rained it got rained on and i hope it's all okay because i want i'm going to be using it in the next few days but i it's very i tested it and it did really really well okay so um, hopefully it can help make my job easier of maintaining the bigger area that I am going to be putting some plants in. Um, I also have some Truteras that have arrived. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about it, you know, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing. I hope you're staying safe out there and know that I love you guys. Also, if you wanna see how this place looked like when I first moved in, I am going to include a video. I think it should be up here, up here. I don't know how this works. I think there'll be a link. Just click on it. I think the video is about five minutes long where it's before and after and it, it tells you what I've done so far, okay? so I hope Hope you enjoy that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!